Hello, CJ Satellite here. Today I'm going to be playing a couple games by this developer called Dara Vatian. I'm always trying to find obscure games on Steam, and I came upon this developer. And their games look very unique and strange, and they don't have many reviews, so it seems like not many people have played them. And I uh, bought a couple of them, and I'm going to try them today. First one. It's called Saturday of Piercing Screams. Which sounds like a third wave emo band. Like they have one singer with a high pitched voice and someone that screams. Saturday of Piercing Screams. The description says Enemy made the cursed infinite spanning castle Sama's Bar as their base. You are best liquidator in the world. Can you survive? ordeals of that forbidden dimension come home alive all right let's boot this up project summer's boy Самые ярые последователи царя николая второго избежали своей участи укрывшись в проклятом беска it's kind of terrifying it's pretty crazy how everything's moving around. Do a new game. Okay. Volume 1, subsection 1, go for it. Okay. Alright, so almost Mario like, but like everything's moving pretty crazy right now. Careful, okay. So it looks like I died there. Okay, I'm surrounded by people. I don't know if these are enemies or friends. Alright, yeah, I'm trying to destroy these things, okay. Got him. Okay. 903 left? Is that how many levels are? Or how many people I have to save? Dude looks like french fries wearing a tie. Well done. Alright, I'm doing it. Shit. Oh, crap. There we go. Oh shit, combo. Nope. Please try again. I like how it's polite. Imagine if Mario had this much gore, like whenever you hopped on a Goomba, they exploded like this. Just limbs and bones everywhere. Hey, how did I die there? Oh, chicken! Is the chicken an enemy? Okay, guy riding a pig. He's, he's stoked about it. Or it's a cat. Oh shit. Ooh, got him. Got him with the, a block. Chicken. Oh, got killed by a chicken. So I guess I can just hop on all these dudes, right? Oh shit. French fry man. Chicken. Jump from too high, I guess. He'll explode as well. Oh. Music kind of reminds me of zombies at my neighbor's here. You are awesome, okay. It's definitely one of the strangest games I've ever seen. Alright, so it looks like it's just a lot of this hopping on these enemies. Trying not to explode. <laughs> Rolling down the stairs. Then they get the celebration between the levels without doing like the robot. 
So I feel like this game is like what the characters of Castlevania see when they have a nightmare. Those you just look like businessmen or something. No, look at Homer Simpson. A bunch of Homer Simpsons. That's Bart. Wait a second. We got Homer on the right, Bart on the left. Alright, so I think that's it for Saturday of Piercing Screams. Seems like a pretty long game. Let's we'll see what people are saying in Steam. You like money? And save it for something else. I tried to figure out this game. Masterful shit post disguised as one. Yeah, this game. Russian fever dream Castlevania. It reminded me of Castlevania as well. Addicting, annoying, cathartic. Alright, so next is Samus Bor ID Heaven. Another game that takes place in Samus Bor. This looks like a first person shooter, so I'm gonna use mouse and keyboard. Reach enemy stronghold in dread Siberian wasteland before insurgents can open gates to Samus Bor Dimension. This one has positive reviews. Uh, more people played this game than the last one. Alright, get right into it. Let's do a new game. The characters in these games are very strange and they move very weird. It's kind of freaking me out. I'm gonna have nightmares about this tonight. I wonder if that's supposed to be the same character from the last game. I think they're dressed similar. Here we go. Alright, nice. I'm in. Whoa. Okay, this sounds kind of freaking me out. It sounds like people are moaning all around me. Birds enemies? I don't know. So, so far I definitely like this one better than the last game. Alright, so ammunition 5. That's not good. I need more ammo. It seems to be growing when I don't shoot. Okay. So maybe I'll just shoot when I need to. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going to an exit or something, or if I'm just supposed to be killing everything. Oh. Let's go through. Try to find an exit or something. Oh, is that- no, that's nothing. Those look like jack-o'-lanterns. I can't forget I can kick as well. Let's try to kick an enemy. Oh, it just moves them out of the way. It doesn't kill them. Whoa, trees are falling. It's getting darker. I can't see anything. What the fuck? Killed me. That was actually kind of freaky how the everything went dark and then that thing popped out. So maybe that was like that was like some kind of boss battle, I think. But I think I'm going the right way, I just keep going forward. The audio, the music, and the sound effects are starting to freak me out. Starting to get to me. Just moaning all around me vocals on this song is really odd. Someone almost speaking in a different language. Maybe I just have to kill a certain amount of enemies for something to happen. I think I was killing more. Well no, actually it's looking different now. Now I'm in the woods. Instead of being surrounded by buildings. Oh, here's a building. Let's go around it. Kill that. The sky is changing. I like how the sky looks. 
Oh, here we go. where that's coming from. There it is. Just keep shooting. Oh no, I'm dying. Oh no, I'm out of ammunition. Run! Did he die? Wow. Got lucky there. Alright, beat chapter one. Achievement unlocked entryway. Oh shit, who's this dude? the fuck out of here. Oh, they Those guys are trying to kill me. Sound effects are creepy as fuck. <laughs> Just sounds like some dude. <laughs> like bonjour, let's shoot him. Keep going. Okay, that's the flashlight. Definitely just help. The stars are coming out. I think I got it. Hit the flashlight. There we go. Where is it? Looks like a bunch of those pterodactyl things. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Make a run for it. Hope I'm going the right way. Oh, I think they all died. The whole time I could switch weapons. I got some wrench. Looks like Donald Trump is a pig. I think I just heard him say he's a pretty cool guy. He's a pretty cool guy, so I... I don't even know if they're my enemies. They're just kind of like... Farmers... Raking and running around going to work. That was a very strange experience. Samizvor ID Heaven. Very odd game. It's not really sure where to go after a while. And just keep running in any direction, I guess. Doesn't seem like there's a clear exit or compass telling you where to go. I do like how the game looks. Sounds are very creepy. Sama's Boar ID Heaven. That was an odd experience. Let's see what people are saying. It's just painful to play. Too much art, too little game. It's cheap though. Ideal for unfreezing steam wallet. Doom on LSD for 30%. Not a game and experience. I agree with that one. So next we're playing Kotel Nigori, a friend of Lena Boots. This is the first one I discovered and I was like, what the hell is going on with this game? Look at the pictures. They're advertised for the game, so odd. Become Kotel and liberate love princess of Giga Crush that was abducted. Accept true hearted friends to accompany your trip. Right, I'm turning this down my head. Whoa. What the fuck? Hey, okay, we got the shark dude again. Single player. Dear Kotel, listen to me. I am Princess of Giga Crush. You just kiss Kotel. Save me, Kotel. This is no longer yours. There's nine orbs now. You want to annoy me? You did it. Congratulations. 
break their faces to make their mouths bleed. Alright, so I am now controlling this. What the fuck? Okay, so I gotta re- Whoa, okay. Okay, so those are the enemies, those faces. I have rakes that I'm throwing. They're shooting out of my mouth. Okay. So it is like a first person shooter. This is really strange. Again, it's the, the audio is freaking me out. Sounds like there's people right behind me. Alright, this one I'm gonna say is the coolest one so far just because this is very weird. Wait, is there a flashlight? I don't even know what is going on. Break through there, your friends will betray you. Oh shit. Damn, and he hit me. Ah, oh, he's a ghost. Can I go up here? Oh shit. <laughs> He's just floating away. Can I kill this dude? Can I hit him with the rakes? It sounds like he's made of glass. <laughs> I think he keeps reappearing. Look at him, how angry he is now. Maybe I gotta get in here. There's this huge building. Here's the entrance. Alright. Keep going. Is that dude floating around. Just heard him fly by. I'm actually getting somewhere. Ooh. Achievement unlocked. First orb. I did it. Believe in yourself, Kotel. Believe and break faces and make their mouths bleed. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta find those orbs. Oh shit. So this is making kill any of the enemies, I just gotta keep pushing them away. Of screechy sounds. Ooh, what is this? Die. Oh, they got me. This is freaky. It's like anything can appear. Alright, so there's this building. I might have to go up here again to find the orb. Let's climb up here. Oh, someone doing a somersault. It's really difficult to see what's going on. I think I'm still going up, though. Oh, here it is. Second one. I did it. You can do it, Kotel. You know how to break face and make their mouth bleed. Kotel is like a Pokemon. Did it say their name? Who's that Pokemon? It's Kotel. Oh. Weird rabbit that looks like it's from an Atari game or something. Kotel, you are pathetic. Oh shit, it's like a boss room? Wait, what? I don't know who was saying that. Oh, no, the rabbit. Yeah, I don't need to hit them, just go between them. The rabbit. Oh shit, dead end. Oh, 
parkour. How did I survive that? Alright, I think that is it for me with this game. So that was Kotel Nigori, a friend of Lena Boots. And that was the strangest one that I've played. But also probably the most fun because it was so weird and just didn't know what to expect, didn't know what I was gonna see next, the type of enemies and everything. Once I figured out you have to find the orbs that are usually on top of the buildings. The objective was a little more clear than say the last game. That was odd as hell. Let's see what people are saying about it. Amazing experience, truly amazing. Visually interesting, and sometimes actually managed to be fun, worth a dollar. What a weird little game, didn't know what to expect going in, but the little I've played so far, I really like the vibe. Very weird. Almost scary because you don't know what to expect. You're being chased by the head at first. All right, and the last game I'm going to play today is called Zenith Into Marinarium. Marinarium. Tie with the Kotel One aircraft to survive the Samasbor invasion. So I like how they're all in the same universe. This one looks weird. It's like a trippy Atari game. All right, play episode one. Samus Boar has invaded. Attention. So it's like a smop. Shoot him up. It is very difficult to see what is going on. Stop going on the screen, it's hard to even see what's a projectile and what is not. Okay. Oh, I'm actually I'm moving along, I'm moving along. Here we go. Oh! Yeah, so let's do episode two. Let's just try a different one. That one's way too hard. Have a piece of control actual. Please jump. Seems like a illegal Atari game or something. Like it was too strange to be released. Like you're gonna scare people. This is Tiger Tiger. Clear. I feel like these games wouldn't be as hard to play if there wasn't so much stuff going on on top of the image. It's hard to see everything. Stuff's popping out. Let's see if we can get by this guy. Me. Right, let's see if I can. Let's pick, let's try episode three to see what that's like. Five lives. I am not feeling Zenith into uranium. What's this? What the fuck? Yeah, this might be the best part of the game. This might be one of the scariest games I've ever played. Jump away earlier. Hey, I made it. It's so creepy with the arguing going on in the background. Like, what is going on? Kill me 
there. Like, what is, the rake thing is freaking me out on the, on the left and the right. I don't understand the meaning of any of this. Guys, that was in Zenith into Marinarium. And I'd say that was the weakest game of four. Controls are weird and there's so much glitchiness. Intentional glitchy artifacts on the screen that is making it all confusing. Seems to like it. Lo-fi glitch core multi-genre game. Want to bang the shark. There's the four games that uh, I'm playing today by the developer Dare Avotian. Very interesting. Glad I tried them. My favorite are uh, this one, Sam Mosbor ID Heaven, first person shooter, and then the, my all time favorite one is this one, Kotel Nigori, a friend of Nina Boots. I like the first person ones more. So uh, eventually I might try Order Road, which is their newest game, I believe, and it looks like it's first person. Someday I might try to beat this one. Hotel, Nagore, a friend of Lena Boots, because I'm really curious what else happens. At least know what to do, you have to collect the orbs. Um, so yeah, one day I might stream Kotel and Nagori, a friend of Lena Boots, and try to actually beat it. Probably gonna take a long ass time, but it could be interesting. Maybe one day there'll be more information out about this developer and what all this stuff means, what Samazbor is, what hotel is why there's a rake shooting out of their mouth i'm always looking for obscure indie games and i play a variety of games i stream on twitch you can follow me at cj satellite there's a link in the about section subscribe to youtube and thumbs up this video if you want to see more and i will see you next time